TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are not live, but you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn on your post notification bells. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK right behind me. You see it. A little warning just in case. Don't forget we do got twitch.com. That's where you can catch a live stream, man. Usernames at the bottom of the screen. Also got Patreon. Post five to ten times a week, including Premier League highlights. And other stuff we can't post to YouTube, man. Make sure y'all lock in, man. Check that out, man. It's really, you know, it's really like that over there. <laughs> this is Tyler Alavena. Inside the country that K-I-L-L-S is illegal immigrants. That is different. What the hell? Okay. Talk to me. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Well, Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. I, re I don't really want any immigrants in my country, you know? Thank you, man. Before meeting with Dominique, I headed to the capital of Poland, Warsaw, to see what the locals thought of Poland's border and their border patrol now being able to kill migrants illegally trying to enter their country. Uh, at university. Trying to flee a war-torn country or trying to fly? Hey, okay, talk to, hold on. University, what are a lot of the students' thoughts on, you know, shooting down illegal immigrants who come through the border? Uh, I've never heard about it. Okay. But, yeah, okay. It is bad because I don't see any purpose to use a gun for the person. First of all, we need to talk. We need to uh, identify the intention of other person. Oh my God, that's like a tough question. But it's a crazy question, right? Yeah. That's a cr is that... I know Patrick wouldn't put something up here that's not, you know. This is very controversial. Like, is, is this clickbait? I know he wouldn't clickbait us like that, but dang. Uh, but to be honest, I'm a little bit shocked. Hold on. It's like, I'm not sure like how they're controlling the borders, but like, I saw a lot of refugees in the centrum here. There are a lot of immigrants all around the Europe, and sometimes it can be dangerous for the Europeans. What are your thoughts on if you came here illegally? What should be done? Oh, I guess I should, I should go in prison. Do you feel safe here in Poland as a woman? Yeah, very yeah. much. Do you feel safer here in Poland as a woman than you do in India? Yeah, it's more safe. Yeah, yeah it's more safe. A lot safe. You can walk, like uh, go to work at night and nobody cares and nobody is like threatening you. <laughs> it's not very safe. No? We cross from the main streets. Yeah. I really feel not very safe because there are some strange people. Here? Uh, Yes. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I like how she put this together. A little regular shorts with a blazer. I never seen that done. Men in general. Oh, some sick people. Okay. Uh, they frighten me. Who should the border keep out? Who should it let in? In Poland? Yeah, how do you even police? Like, do you? is it for anybody? Or do they have to, like, have a certain level of threat? Or what? Like... Poland. Nice people, kind, and the way of good help. Okay. Do you, do you think having a more strict stance on the border keeps Poland safer or? Uh, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure. I know that many people have that opinion. Okay. I want to believe that it doesn't really matter from which country you're coming. Okay. Um, you know, if you apply to the culture, it's going to be fine. Uh, safety it has nothing to do with the border. Okay, nothing? Nothing. What are your thoughts on immigration in Poland? I'm uh, a political immigrant. What did you say? Say it again. Immigration in Poland. I am a political immigrant, and therefore, I can't answer this question. I haven't met with any negative negativity in my address. Um, why did you come from Belarus to Poland? I am a political activist, and I don't have a Belarus at the moment. How was your experience going through the Belarusian-Polish border? У меня чуть другой маршрут, я прилетел, чуть другой маршрут, я прилетел из Грузии, я жил в Тбилиси некоторое время, поэтому в моем случае без экстрима обошлось. Ну, я считаю, что здесь... I want to say he borderline don't even count. <laughs> Not to be like... 
But you don't even really want to be here. You just got no way back. You ain't got no bread right now or something. Like, you, you're an activist. Like, Женщине безопасно. И заниматься бизнесом тоже очень хорошо. Um, what are your thoughts on their stance on illegal immigration and the idea that they'll kill you if you try to illegally enter through the border? Но я считаю, по международному праву все э, страны защищают свою территорию. Но это на законодательном уровне. Никто из хозяев, но если есть граница, существует, должны соблюдаться э, ну, законные вот эти данные. Поэтому, ну, если ты нелегально пересечаешь, ты территориальную целостность не защищаешь. Считаю, что государство вправе применять оружие для защиты своей территории. Если ты бежишь от войны, пожалуйста, регистрируйся, получай документы, работы. Мне кажется, страна очень комфортна для жизни и, по-моему, очень толерантно относится ко всем беженцам. Я бежала от войны, и тем не менее, за два года мы тоже здесь и открыли бизнес, и работаем, и платим налоги. Какие твои мнения на границе здесь, в Поленде, как человек из Украины? А, fine, fine. fine. It's really fine. Yeah, it's uh, no uh, no problem with uh, was, it, was it easy to get here from Ukraine? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. really easy. A few hours and and you fled for political asylum, or you work here? Uh, Why did you I, come? I work. Yeah, I okay. work. I believe like in most Poland, especially like the eastern part in Warsaw, we like fully open for okay. everybody who wants to come here in every purpose. A lot of people lost their houses, lost the safety in their life. Yeah. So I don't do not see any problem with that. In my opinion, I don't have any okay. problem with that. Even so. illegally. You know what? In my opinion, it is like hard to be illegally yeah. at this moment because you have to cross the border. I think this is not like the main spectrum of a problem. This, it, most of them want to be here legally because they want to have a work. Um, so if they come to Poland, but they are from a country that's not a neighboring country. So are these pictures really like the like? What are these pictures? Are these are these the actual borders at one point of Poland, or is this like? You know what I'm saying? to Poland should they be allowed to come in here and be a refugee yes sure because yeah. we've been in this situation in I Poland see. we have a travel history so we need a help for our neighbor what are your thoughts on uh, illegal immigration oh uh, I think the crime rate is going much higher so okay. far so what about like Syrian refugees like Afghanistan refugees uh, Eritrea are they close enough to be considered neighbors or should they go to Eritrea what did they say it again the neighboring country they're not like of course they geographically they're not our neighbors yeah. but if they looking for a safe place they want to be here legally they want to have a work they want work, to build yeah. a new life i don't see a problem with that have you heard about the belarusian polish uh hybrid war they call it yeah, yeah. what are your thoughts on that of course this is not correct i mean to to allow what to bring people from outside just to to push them in, sure. uh, in you but before heading to the poland belarus border to see what poland says is a hybrid warfare at play where russia is sending migrants from china and africa into poland for them to then enter the rest of the eu and then financially and socially destabilize the rest of europe i met up with dominique member of so it's a plot the European Parliament and Poland's Law and Justice Party. Is this man a racist, alt-right, Islamophobe, as the mainstream media and leftist detractors call him? I want to ask him, how does Poland's new border wall work? Can any refugees come in? What is this hybrid war? And how does their border control differ from other EU countries? And more importantly, does it work? And I'm very happy that we are on the street, not in the studio. Yeah. You can see and everyone can see Japan. Yeah, the difference. It's beautiful. Would this look different in Paris? London, anywhere in Germany, what are your thoughts? I think the easiest way to answer it is Eurostat is the most important when it comes to the data. Okay. The safest country in Europe, Poland. The lowest unemployment, Poland. The less crimes, Poland. So if you ask me about any data, we are leaders. Okay. And that is the fact. It's not my political opinion. Yeah. When I quote this in European Parliament, they were very unhappy. Also, if you want to support our boots on the ground, independent journalism that is not The upload. Go subscribe. Discussion on migration started in 2015 when Germany started this madness. In 2018, I said quite famous words zero illegal migration in Warsaw, in every single Polish city. We don't want any illegals. Then they called me Islamophobe. If someone is from China, if someone is from India, or someone is. 
it doesn't matter who he is, what sure. he believes in. If he's illegal, we do not want that. The difference between refugee and a migrant, especially illegal migrant, is very, very, very clear. The refugee is the person who flee from the country on conflict, of right. conflict, to the first safe country. I didn't know that Syria is bordering country with Poland. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay. To the first safe country. That is why we took over two million Ukrainians. Legal. Because you are contiguous, you guys border That's one right. Okay. That's right. We're, In the case were, of Syria, Afghanistan, Eritrea, that is not the case. They are not refugees. I, I'm trying to repeat it every single time. If you want to come, you can come. Submit your documents, ask for a visa, stay here for six or ten months, pay taxes, contribute to the society, then you're welcome. Why not? We are not North Korea. Sure. Well, why are Syrians... You know, politicians, though, they can say one thing and be doing the other thing, but he sound, what he's saying don't sound bad. If you want to come, come the right way. Apply for your visa, stay however many months you can stay, and contribute. In Afghanistan, refugees coming to Poland and not migrants. Um, uh, UAE. Uh, why Qatar did not react? Why? Why aren't they going to Qatar? Very rich Arab country. Okay. Where is Qatar? I'm trying to ask this question yeah. for years now, yeah. and I cannot find any answer because we've been told that this is a global problem so there is a need for a, for a global solidarity so there is no global solidarity sure like qatar is the, the great global solidarity a concept that refers to the idea of coming together as a global community to act in the spirit of unity and multi what tip oh muta talent it's a key part <laughs> it's the key part of the global citizenship and it's based on the idea that the global community is stronger when it acts together that's true Okay. Mortalitarianism to learn. Okay, got it. Uh, solidarity. So there is no global solidarity. Sure. Like, Qatar is the, the great example. Our soldier was killed with a spear I saw by that. the illegal. Terrible. So that would happen on the streets if the, if we would let them in. They started Somebody this madness by spear? by willkommen politik. Okay. That was the politic, you know, uh, welcoming illegals because they were hoping for for cheap labor. They found out that those who came illegally, they do not, they don't want to work. They don't want to work, but there's mo much more crimes. Sure. So they said, okay, let's spread them around. Let's say that this is our responsibility and European solidarity, and then we're gonna get rid of this problem. So, in European Union, they started so uh, well, the, the thing they called quota system. Yeah. Each country should take migrants. Uh, they are they called refugees. That's how they call them. They, they, they says you're going to pay like 22,000 euros per person if you will not take them in. And you guys said, no, we no, are not doing that. Of course not. What were the consequences to that old action, I suppose? They tried to force us to take illegals. We said, no, it's better to pay. It's better to have frozen assets, whatever, rather than risk our own life. Okay. And look at the streets now. Do a pan. There you go. Has Poland always been this way, Dominic? This, yeah. this is what it's needed to understand what from an outsider looking in you can't argue the results i mean from, uh... why we cherish our freedom so much right. because of russia russia because of germany historically poland did not exist for 123 years we gained our Terrible. independence back in 1918 so after that after 1918 we had a little bit of freedom but then in 1939 Side note, Polish girls love black guys. At least when they come to Chicago, they do. In my experience. I don't know why I said that. I just wanted to get it out there. Germany and Russia attacked. Both fronts. Both. And we had this terrible communism in Poland for 70 years. That's why I hate Putin. I hate him. Okay. Because he's trying to go back to the Soviet Union era. The way he behaved, the, the way Russia behaved, is unpredictable. 123 years. Police? <laughs> Finally, we have an MP with a great English. <laughs> ah, there we go. How, when, when did this hybrid war begin? Uh, is this uh, an act of Russia trying to antagonize? Of course. Of course. Okay. It's because when you go through the papers, you see that the guys who came to Belarus are with the Russian visas. Okay. 
So we know that by the fact, it's not an opinion. I see. So the whole process of traveling is organized by Russia. And because of the green border yeah. with Belarus, they are able to come to Belarus and attack our border. So it's organized by Russia, of course. And they want to destabilize Poland and other countries because the, the, the whole thing is not only about Poland, uh, Hungary, Italy and others. In this part of Europe, we know that Russia is responsible. And when you push back against the um, Muslim refugees, illegal immigrants, whoever they were, why did they call you an Islamophobe? What happened there? First of all, it's not true. Okay. One of my closest friends, this friend is from Syria. Ah, okay. Uh, that's not a great. Anytime somebody says that, it makes me they're like, all right, and that don't mean nothing. But, but any anyway, in the public's eye, anytime you do something, even to the slightest bit of not liking something, they, like they, or not being agreeing it with something one hundred percent, they're gonna point a very specific finger. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's weird. They do it to me on the internet too. So it's like, eh, I don't care what you're talking about. But it is like, all right. It is what it is with the internet. You damned if you do, damned if you don't. You can't win for losing out. Okay. You know, he came here yeah, legally. Fun. He started his company. Yeah. He paid taxes. He's been here for many years. Right. And we are very close friends. And he's from Syria and he says, never ever let them come in. Oh, of course, they okay. call us racist. They call us uh, Islamophobes. It's not true. They try to tell us that the doctors will come, engineers will come, that our society, sure. it's all bullshit. Do you need doctors? Of course not. Do you, do you need I mean, doctors? I, well, huh? but we need doctors, yeah, not yeah. doctors, do right? You need their doctors? No, thank you. <laughs> Take them. I want Poland to be like this. Look. Now, is most of Polish government in agreement with your stances on this? Is uh, not gonna lie. Walking around, we haven't seen one homeless person in Poland. Like, what is is this Poland's skyline? Is there something about Poland that I didn't know? This is like my first real look at Poland. Period. So. This phrase, be like Poland, because of decisions which were made by our government. Yes, yes. Dzień dobry. Dużo sukcesów. Dziękuję bardzo. Dobre roboty pan robi. Dziękuję. Dominic, your love. Does he not have security? He's just walking around. It's far and wide here, it seems. It's like this message is resonating with a lot of the public. And you have to remember that this is a very liberal city. Sure. Are you a big fan of them? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Tell me about the live bullets the fact that you can now kill illegal immigrants trying to enter the border. I love it. If you want to, if you want to, if you are trying to commit a crime on the Polish soil, you might be dead. We do not know if you are a refugee, a migrant or a terrorist. That's why after our, after our soldier was killed, our parliament passed the law that we can use live bullets to protect our nation. We heard that right. it appeared. So, okay. So every action has a reaction so the, the the action of that one person made the action of the country made the reaction of the country turn to live but i don't i'm not upset about that then with the whole background story i threw a spear through the gate trying to get through what do you expect to happen but there is no such a zombie cities like San, Fran yeah, San, San Francisco. We don't have yeah. that. You know why? Why not? Because we are protecting our border. Okay. That's the way they, they, they try to smack it. And are you taking care of your own citizens too? Because most of these Philadelphia and other these places are their own citizens. Don't get it twisted. It ain't no migrants coming over. And it, it is sometimes, but like their own people getting strung out. So. Poland takes care of the locals, huh? Let into the country. Any illegal activity is always connected to the drugs okay. or guns. But drugs is a, is a very good business. So it's not only about having illegals, it's also about security and anti-war drugs, anti-drugs war. So we are winning at the moment. We can say how many people are. No, because we would have seen by now. Like we would have seen a homeless person by now, just the camera pan, and we would have seen it. They might be really winning that on that front, at home front. Putin toilet paper. How safe they feel, you can tell. It's just, it's just beautiful. You can't see this kind of, this kind of thing in Europe anymore. Uh, when do you think the rest of Europe lost this? When they decided 
to be politically correct. And it started with, with the leftists. This is what they want. They want diversity. What kind of diversity? With a knife and a rifle? Is this, is this diversity? Sure. Beautiful. <laughs> you do not see soldiers with the rifles sure. as you see. In I mean, dude, look peaceful as hell in Poland. God, <laughs> I ain't even gonna hold you. If I went there with a passport and did everything correctly, I think I'd have a wonderful time in Poland. I ain't even holding you. Not this picture. This ain't London good. or in France. There's no need. We are not racist. We are not Islamophobes. We oh my God, look at that. Perfect moment. A nun walks past. We are logical. So I think it's very important to have this discussion, uh, our discussion while eating. Okay. I tell you why. Why? Because it's so peaceful. Can you show around? Beautiful. How, 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 how peaceful it is. You don't feel any stress. You do not feel this is the type of energy I need. I ain't gonna lie. If I was outside, I'd never eat outside because I don't like people coming up to me. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry your situation has made you have to do this, but like, get away from me while I'm eating. <laughs> like, if I wanna have, if I got some leftovers, I'll give to you. If I have some money, I'll give to you. But this, you ain't gotta worry about this in Poland. Any anxiety, you don't feel threatened by anyone. You don't have anyone coming to your table and you know asking for money for or for whatever. You just sit, relaxing, have a nice beer, and then you have. Is that good? You banging that? <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. You said he said let's eat and do it. You really eating? Beautiful pierogies. This is what I love about Poland. That's you why. You have homeless people here. Well, every country has okay. homeless, but. If he had to ask, that says a lot because he's walking around filming. I don't see any either, but like there's cuts and this and that, but he's actually filming. Can you see any? Why are the women so beautiful here? What about men? Uh, hello? Uh, no offense to the guys. No. Why are the women so beautiful here? What about... You a, you a goddamn lie. I know Buddy ain't pull up from half court and make it with this. <laughs> ain't no way. Nah, okay. This is... Man, uh, hello. Polish women do got it though, 100%. No offense to the guys. No. <laughs> Poland is the last stronghold of normality in Europe and in the world in many, many ways. Come and visit. And you made sure I wasn't a Russian propaganda asset, right? I hope you're not. <laughs> you would be killed. All right. The whole process of replacement is just a fact by the numbers. It's not my political opinion. By the numbers, we are in a very very bad situation and listen to me i i do understand that you will have maybe someone will translate it into a arabic or any other do not come to the polish border what will happen if you do and you try to enter illegally you might be killed if you'll come here illegally you will try to harm any of our soldiers you will be killed mm. Mm. <laughs> i'm gonna try to get this translated into polish and uh arabic too I haven't ever did that to any of my videos, but I'm pretty sure like the audience would broaden. So let's see. Just with these world videos. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to pierogies, to Poland. And um come. I'm telling you. <laughs> Pause. You am on This is the only interview in my whole career <laughs> where I let someone record me when I, while I'm eating. How is it? As a man of the people. It tastes like freedom. It's Saturday night. Look, it's, look, look. There's no beggars. There's no homeless. Get the fuck out of here, huh? Poland is on to something. I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> There's no fentanyl. We don't do Chick fil A. So we don't. Peaceful. McDonald's. No, we don't. Burger King. No, we don't. KFC. No, we don't. <laughs> we do proper Polish, very healthy food. Uh, what are your thoughts on Poland? Mm. Polish food. Well, we are in Italy. Too. Where are you from? Uh, Roma. Italy. Yeah. Do you feel safer as a woman? Yes. Yeah. It's funny. Do you feel safe in Rome as a woman or Italy? Sorry. No, not at all. Why? It's they, dangerous. Where are you from? When you come from Rome, he's going to eat. I visited. <laughs> what do you feel like? Because it's not safe. Why is it not safe? Uh, because we don't think like what we have on the time. Who are you afraid of at night? Men. Which men? 
men in general or specific types of men who come from different places? Like men. Italian men? Yeah. Fair enough. What do you think? Can I ask you? Here's a thought. Can we please order in the meanwhile? Yes, they do. <laughs> can you, can you, should you buy them one? Thank you. Should you buy them one? Hmm. No. <laughs> okay, they don't need it. They don't need it. They get by their own. Why do you think they feel unsafe and wrong? Let's be honest. Because of Africans, they are afraid to say so. So his argument is that African migration to Italy has had a, an impact increasing the rape uh, in Italy, for example, or in Germany, or in France, or in UK. Would that be accurate? Would you yeah. stand on business to that fact? When we meet like uh, a guy in the street, we don't know uh, if he's Italian, uh, English, Spanish. Uh, it's like a potentially dangerous. Mm, okay. They just don't want to be bothered. The the realism of it all is, most women walking down the street don't want to be bothered. And I'm not even mad at that. Like there's a time and a place, and a woman walking down the street, a woman in the gym, a, rub, a woman in public transportation should not have to deal with guys being overly thirsty. You know what I'm saying? Simple as that. There's a time and a place. And you got to really think about it. Like a woman will let you know if she's interested. Of course, you could be the catch. You could be the guy. You could be that dude. But if you are that dude, you will know. That a woman will let you know. There will be some type of look. There will be some type of communication. There will be some type of signal to let you know that this woman is interested in you. And you just got to remember 95% of men don't know that. <laughs> they don't know that. 95% of men are thirsty. Men in the world. I'm talking about 95% of 7 billion. Hey Siri. Huh? Okay. Wait, no, no. Can I? Can I? Not seven billion. I'm sorry. Whatever. Whatever the population is divided by two. It's about equal, right? Okay. There's approximately three point seven billion men on Earth. Ninety five percent of them. And I would maybe move to say ninety seven, ninety eight percent of them don't know these signals don't even have never even been talked to by a woman like initiated conversation from a woman three percent of 3.7 billion is 111 million and i even beg to differ that number <laughs> that's a high number only three percent of men realize that women don't want to be bothered and have sig those signals to let you know 111 million. That's that, that not, and that's generous. I ask you for your. What do you think about Prime Minister Meloni? Go go go. Meloni. Meloni. <laughs> She's going to deport people now. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think? Good or bad? No, no trick answer. Bad. Good or bad? Totally bad. Bad, bad person. Why is she bad? She's not tolerant. She's racist. Oh, she's, she's racist. She's not tolerant. Oh. <laughs> so you so you don't know who's raping. What do you mean? I don't understand the question. Like you're trying to you say don't, something. You don't. She She doesn't understand the I, question. Like I. What? PM. He got. <laughs> what are you okay. trying to say? This. Okay. So one more question. Who's gonna win in U.S.? What do you think? It's gonna be Kamala or Trump? <laughs> Hopefully Kamala. There you go. Thank you very much, ladies. No comment. I have a dear oh, friend in Paul. They support okay. leftists in U.S. Why they want Kamala to win? <laughs> when they are not happy about safety in Italy because of illegal migration. What the f*** is going on in their brains? They, they, they said a few words that I think are important. Inclusivity, right? acceptance, right? I, I think that's it. The real acceptance is in Poland. I'm from Iraq, I'm Kurdish, and uh, it's been two years I live in Gdańsk. I study masters. So what do you do in Poland? Yeah, I study masters in international business. So you are from Iraq, mm -hmm. moving to Poland to study. Yep. Are you legally in Poland? I'm legally in Poland. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're very welcome. Thank you're you legally, very much. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. No problem with nobody legal. This dude look like he legal. He got a little money on him. Nice little crispy hat, shirt crispy. This is not a regular 
uh, white undershirt. That's the expensive one. You know what I'm saying? Wrist nice. I watched all of your videos and I totally support you. I love that you respect your country. Yes, I I'm also like, are you Christian? I'm an expert. Okay, darling. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Welcome, <brother. laughs> True love. Whatever you are, whatever you The girl I currently am seeing, well, hopefully, you know, she's an ex-Muslim converted to Christian. If you are legally in here, you are very welcome. I really like that you put all the Polish people first before anything else. That, like you said, we have. Imagine if all countries put their specific region and their people first. There'd be no war, because wars are wars are an ego thing. <laughs> They're started from an ego thing. They're continued by egos. They're fueled by the ego. You know what I'm saying? But if you were putting your people first, you wouldn't put them through that type of stuff. So, I mean. Normality here. Okay, normality. We don't, we, we don't have chaos here. Okay. Uh, you can you can express your whatever you are. Just don't push your agenda on someone Okay. I'm with, my, I'm with my girlfriend. And I Where is she? Uh, Come over. Hello. Is she Polish? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. My name is Cześć. You're super, you, you just get married. <laughs> You're very welcome. There we go. You, you see the difference between illegal and legal presence in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, have a beautiful... Bro, bro is a little bit too smooth, ain't he? Like, I appreciate it. Thanks. Happy. Yeah. She was cherished. She was taken care of. Yeah. If you want this Hollywood movies, this beautiful uh, stories of love to be real, you will not respect our women. We're gonna take care of you. Simple. You and, can. And with gratitude and respect. Pay your taxes. Get Polish wife. Become a Polish. Be like Poland. After a night out on the safe streets of Warsaw, Dominique took me to Poland's border they share with Belarus. It looks very safe. In, in Chicago, a night out is almost guaranteed you're fighting. Or there's going to be some type of altercation. Belarus to show me a project they've spent $2.5 billion on to help keep Poland Polish. So we're here. This place looks brand new. They're not messing around. They're strapped. They got camouflage. They got big guns. They're not here smiling. They're here straight faced. Who are you? Why are you here? So luckily we have the clearance. We should be good to go through. Let's see how big and bad this wall is. They're not messing around. Okay, that seemed intense. They did not play yeah, around. No, no jokes. Do they know who you were? Yes, they know, but... The procedure is procedure, and I, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. This is the border of European Union with Belarus. We are the ones. I respect procedure too nowadays. Before I didn't, but now I do. It is what it is. This is your job. You got to do it, do it. With, the, with this border. But don't overdo it, though. Do it exactly to the procedure. Don't, don't push your agenda on it. So we are protecting the whole Europe. How yeah. new is this? Well, the wall was built very very fast i must say when the first um, attempts look soldiers all the way through but don't record them okay. don't record them point it out myself this is, like, this is a training camp this is home what is this they live here well when they have a service like a night food. they have a place to change and prepare and this and that it's a lot of them our border was not ready for that but what we did we reacted straight away we built Well, in minutes, the ready for that. But what we did, we reacted straight away. We built the wall. You're gonna see the wall in minutes. After the murder of the the guard. No, that was beforehand. Okay. When the whole madness started in Europe, yeah. our government decided, okay, that's enough. We're not taking all this crap. Yeah. We're gonna build the wall. So but how exactly are they sending the refugees or the the illegal migrants? What or? they do? What they do? They invite them to Russia. Okay. They are getting a uh, tourist visa, they pay for it. Then they are transported from Moscow or other places in uh, in Russia to true? Belarus and then to the border, Polish border. And I've seen some TikTok Russia videos of people there. trying to break through the wall. Well, yes, yeah, they, they try in every single night. Sure. It's not like you you don't have to protect it. You do have to protect sure. it. Okay. Let's, let's park here and walk. Amazing. Okay? 
It looks peaceful out here. What time do people start trying to break into the wall? Uh, every night about three or four o'clock in the morning. Okay. This is when they trying to cross the border. They know that this is the best time. Oh, you can see soldiers now. Okay. You can see some guys. So he's aware of our presence. He's on guard. You see, you see, you, you just said that it's very peaceful. Sure. This piece, it, it took us 30 seconds to have a, to have a soldier reacting sure. for someone's presence. Dominik Tarczyński. Does he know you? Yes, but you have to say your name. I there's, see. there's no jokes. That's okay. why I think they're professional. They okay. they know their job. A to czasami zapytał, tak? Nie, ja lepiej by było, bo to też dla własnego spokoju, nie? Że oni później nagrywają i widzą, kto tu wchodzi, kto nie wchodzi. No. Tak? Tak, nie wiadomo, kto się wczoraj krzaka, nie? Także to jest dla własnego bezpieczeństwa. So he says, he says, if we don't have a mask, for us it's not good to be there, because they are recalling Russians and Belarusians. They, they want to know who's into the subject who is interested in border protection. So for our own safety, we don't have a mask. We shouldn't enter because it's not safe. It's it's a war, it's not a joke. So we'd be in the database? Yeah. And is this largely contested right here? Are people trying to go through this? Right, right. That's, that's shorter, the, much shorter compared to this. And it was, it was thousands of them. Thousands, thousands of, of them in one day. They're trying to force Polish border and they lost. Okay. We stopped them, it was I don't know, maybe 10,000 of them. A lot. So a lot of things going on at the moment. Look at that. There's clothes right there. People are trying to get over this. Straight away. So I'm proud. I'm proud to be here to see these soldiers and to see their service and to see the wall. Because when I see the wall, I do understand that this is for my future children, for my future wife, for my future family. I would say to every single leftist, if you don't believe that this is war, come and see. Come and see. Let's say I'm from Syria, I want to go through this wall, I break through the wall, what happens to me next? You're killed. Dead. Shot. You will die like a dog. What? You can hear now. Who is that? Belarus? Yeah. You can hear them. Yeah, yeah. Who was that? It's a speaker or people? Yeah. No, 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 the people, people. They're, they're, are, they're in the groups, they communicate as well. They're very, they are very well organized. I think, I think they are, some of them are trained, paid, obviously. Sure. They are not just simple people. Like mercenary like, groups? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can tell that Russia pays well to destabilize, like Poland and other countries. They want us to spend money on this, rather than around healthcare or anything else. One of their colleagues was killed just from this kind of distance. Yeah. He with the spear. With the spear. Yes, so it's not safe for us to be here because it's just a moment and you might be dead. But three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, the war starts every night. Every night. And then we hopped in the car to visit another part of Poland's border deep in the forest. It used to be a completely weak border just a few years ago. A little bit creepy out here. Oh yeah. You wanted to come and see. <laughs> yeah, and right. this is reality. Sure. Keeping our eyes peeled to see if we see anyone in the forest. It's not impossible to get through the wall. We got ours too, but I ain't never seen it. I ain't never seen it in depth like this. I think this border is more like realistic though for the, for the location. Wall, but it's highly unlikely given the amount of security here. I thought this would be a little bit more lax, like some parts of the southern border in the U.S. This no, is this not is relaxed. This is this is war. Actual this is complete war. the actual war. We made it. I will hop out so you can see. But this wall is in the middle of the forest. The road is not even paved. Just to emphasize how rural this location is. We had to do it in the middle of the forest. Yeah. There was no infrastructure. Sure. Because that was a, that is a green border. Yeah. So okay, so we see soldiers already. We can see the border actually as it is. Look how long it is. Yeah. And not only that, we have barbed wall and then another wall, double wall. And then you have both soldiers, right? So that's very important. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fully masked up with their yeah, faces too. They are recorded by yeah. Russian, so they don't want to... And there's cameras in the forest right now? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Recording yeah. recording Polish soldiers. That's right, that's right. So day in, day out, they're watching these walls. They're probably going to ask who are we at. Sure, sure. Fair question. All those cameras right there. Massive surveillance. Hi. Everyone who died because of the terrorists in Europe is because your lack of decisions, lack of bravery, political correctness, you are responsible. Leftists are responsible for chaos in Europe. And they think they fight us, Republicans, conservatives. You're not fighting us. You're fighting with your own nations. We are protecting our own nations. And this is the proof. Can you hear that? Whoa. They're throwing stuff. They're throwing stuff. We heard it. I heard a rock. Yeah. Should we say hi? Uh, no, they're throwing rocks 
Why? Because they behave like animals, unfortunately. They don't behave like civilized, civilized people. You can see on the video. This belong? They, they can easy, that, like long spear. It's like on the video when our soldier was killed, it's easy for them to, to throw it and kill you. Let's get out of here. So if you can't hear it on the mic, they're throwing rocks right now. People do want to get in. The question is, when will they try and how will they be punished? Let's get out of here, yeah? After seeing the symbol of Poland's defiance against wall over there is a different type of wall energy than the wall in America. This one it's the EU's crazy. push towards diversity, open borders, and economic opportunity for those less fortunate from countries that are culturally dissimilar. I met up with Dominique in Brussels to see where Europe's elite politicians meet and decide the fate of an entire continent. Okay, let's go. I'll show you how we do it. Amazing. What's the, what's the current split between uh, liberals and conservatives in parliament right now? It's, it's about 100 conservatives. Yeah. on 70, uh, 720 uh, MEVs, so it's not much, but I think it's better to be a strong, small group rather than a massive, you know the story of 300. Sure. That's us. Cool. What are your thoughts on uh, the rest of Parliament here, the EU in general? I don't like it. What are your I thoughts like on Brussels? It. I don't like it at all. Yeah. I tell you why. Again, I'm trying to be very objective, but I cannot be blind on statistics. Rapes, killings, stealings. Stabbings. We don't have it in Poland. Sure. And when you see official data from here, from yeah. Eurostat, you see how Poland great is. It's so sad. But then when we are trying to tell them what is the reason of all this, they don't want to listen. They think that they're better, smarter. And I mean, now, yeah. How large of a check would I have to write to uh, buy you out? You don't have this kind of money. <laughs> okay. You see, the difference between me and the rest is that I don't need sponsors. I don't need it. That's why they don't own me. I That's see. why I can say what I think and what I believe. This is what they're afraid of. The voice of the people. Oh, this is it? This is it. If we pop in? So, yes, uh, it's closed, right? Okay, so this is the place where we take votes and this is the place where we have speeches. Uh, we have two buildings. This is how this is the machines for voting. Okay. What will it take to make Europe great again in your opinion? Uh, to go back to the roots, Roman law, Greek philosophy, Christianity, not only as a faith but also as a culture, as the way of living, uh, mentality, art, music, everything. That's why I think Roman law, Greek philosophers and uh, what we had, not only last century, but throughout century is great. I want to raise my future children as a, as a Christians. So when you see attacks on Europe, you see attacks on Christianity, mainly on, on Catholics. In 20 years, how do you think Europe will look like at this rate? It's going to be very, very bad. It's yeah. not going to change for better. I think it will be more killings, more stabbings, more terrorist attacks, uh, more wokeness, unless most of the nations will change their governments. So. Um, Please God, they will wake up. But the change will start if Donald Trump wins in US. Because whatever happens in US, it happens in, in Europe six or 10 months later. Do you think we'll see walls like what we saw in Poland and other European countries soon? It's a matter of time, Yeah, 100%. The final word to the viewers and to you would be always remember who you are, be proud of who you are, do not be afraid, be brave, fight and make your life Great. I know this is a tough one. Dominic, are you single? <laughs> yes, I am. Why? I don't know. I'm sh No, we knew we knew you were single, brother. You was outside courting females. There are some viewers might be curious. <laughs> what, what kind of question is that? <laughs> Savage. Come on, you gotta think about family, no? Yeah, I am single, so thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Be like Poland. Be like Poland, be brave. Cheers. Bye. Alright. Let me know what you think in the comments, man. Do you agree with some of his views or you can't argue the statistics and you can't argue the video. It's